Just do a little uh, Easter special turn, I reckon. What do you reckon, mate? Let's do it. Let's ride. Happy Easter. Let's ride to it, let's do this. Very good morning everyone tuned in. How are we doing? Ladies, gents, teddy bears. Ted Coningsby channel. How are we all doing? Share this might as well nice little chill it's gonna be a chilled out uh, day today I think so Ted will be on there in a sec mate Thank you. That's all you're going to see today. Okay. Uh, Just that? Yeah. Oh, well, that'll do. <laughs> Just to say happy Easter. <laughs> all right, mate. Ba-da, ba-da, day. How are we doing, ladies, shents, and teddy bears? Happy Easter to everyone tuned in. Happy holidays. Um, okay, a gentleman's just told me that this is it. This is all we're gonna see today. SC17. Well, you know what, we're here. Let's ride. Let's see it. <laughs> That's all we're gonna get. No worries. Well, I better make sure I get it, Ted. And Lady Shanta Teddy Bears, just wishing everyone a happy holidays. And uh, just thought we'd come out for a quick, chilled out stream. Just a nice little um, happy holidays because there ain't going to be much today. In fact, the gentleman just told me this is it for today. But uh, no worries, we'll catch a C17. 
gives me a chance to chat to everyone. very happy birthday to our Royal Air Force absolutely so I just put a post on uh, the YouTube community just uh, showing off our uh, anniversary for on a happy birthday to all of our Royal Air Force oh yeah so it'll be a uh, nice chilled out quiet running after my holiday you know when you come back from what you know when you come back from holiday you're in sort of like that oh mood you know that mood so uh yeah just i thought i'd give myself a little quick stream do you know what i mean a little chilled out one just to run it in from holidays so we're just going to catch this c17 and then potentially this could be it for the day what we'll do we'll run a stream for about an hour and just see how it goes see if we can hear anything but uh word in the area is that this is it for the day but oh well no problem But uh, it was certainly a nice little drive here. We do enjoy driving here, Ted and I. Uh, my name's Nikos and uh, I'm your cameraman and commentator. We do have our uh, squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. You never know. We might get a circuit or two. You never know. <laughs> uh, but it sounded like they're using the ILS uh, runway 28 here at RF Mildenhall. And we have a uh, C-17 just uh, coming into land very shortly. Turning in now, ready, lining up for uh, to land at runway 28 here at RF Building Hall. Hope good. One six zero, clear to land. Here we go. Thank you. 
don't forget to hit the like ladies and gentlemen teddy bears nice chilled out short stream today just to get back in the swing of things after a nice uh, holiday it was absolutely brilliant Welcome to the UK. comes the delivery of Ted Salmon. I guess, uh, if I remember correctly, this could have Maguire written on it uh, from Maguire Air Force Base.
that's okay, yeah. Is that P38? Sorry? Gas and go. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Sure. No, Not thanks for that. that <laughs> At least we could see it take off. Appreciate that. Gas and go. Well, that sounds good. this take off then ladies and steady bear so we'll just be patient i don't know we'll get to uh, if anyone wants the time how long it takes to refuel a uh, c17 this could be our little easter game <laughs> ted connick's v channel live here at rf milton hall hope we're all good and feeling well and uh, those of you who have had a nice break over the uh, weekend and friday happy holidays See how long it takes for uh, a refuel of the seat of a tool. Oh, hello. Or about that, wakey wakey Nikos. <laughs> it's not a bad aircraft to see, is it really? Beautiful. If this is all we're going to get today, no problem at all. At least we get to see it land and depart. Don't know why, ladies, gents, teddy bears, but the uh, the front of the uh, C17, obviously not, it's not like identical, but uh, for some reason it just reminded me of the B29 just there for a minute. A rounded front with lots of windows.
Don't forget to hit the like, ladies, shunted teddy bears. So the uh, C17, uh, from the kind gentleman to me, it's a gas and go. So let's see, it's just uh, just before uh, 10 o'clock. <laughs> I don't know how long it will take for uh, a refuel of the uh, C17. A very good morning, Davey, White Wizard, how are we all doing? Spanaflight crew, Margot Baxter, Chris Bloxham, happy Easter to the Spanaflight team. Davey, thank you very much. Uh, it was lovely catching up with all of you uh, for the debrief. Hope you are all well. Alex Binks, how's it going? So, Alex, if you want to come, um, come and see the C17 depart. I'll repeat, bring Courtney and enjoy a C17 departing. What a wonderful, romantic Monday it will be. <laughs> air to air, how you doing? Ian Wright, Alan Burden, Meth, how's it going? It would probably be a couple of hours, yeah, for sure. But that's fine, as we're here, as I say, as we're here, we're here, right? So, uh, enjoy. I heard lots of people guessing, 90 minutes, 47 minutes, got two hours. Oh, thanks it just i don't know why it just reminded me of the b29 at the front i mean obviously it's got a lot more uh a lot more windshields on there uh don't forget to hit the like ladies and teddy bears hit the like and just support this little easter special stream from what i hear it's just going to be of this c17 so i've gone ahead and just changed the uh, title it doesn't sound like we're going to get any kc 135s or anything like that today no worries i just thought you know what after a holiday, I just fancied a chilled out stream just to catch up with all of you. Right, how are we all doing? So while we're waiting for that, I'll just uh, do a little catch up as my usual. How are we all doing? It'd be lovely to see you all, uh, Lady Shenton Teddy Bears. It's uh, been a few days as we uh, took a Friday off so I can have a little break. It was absolutely incredible, Lady Shenton. I am proper chilled out, man. Yeah. How are we doing, Lady Shenton Teddy Bears? Hope we're all good. Check this out, man. <laughs> oh, man. April Fool's uh, hairstyle today. That's right, how we doing? How we doing? Hope we're all good, ladies and gentlemen, bears. Uh, my name's Nikos, I'm your cameraman and commentator. And uh, we have our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, who will just appear in a moment. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it a nice, chilled, calm day today. Here he is, this is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, and Ted is totally excited to be back uh, to Ted HQ tomorrow. We had a great time. We had a holiday in Somerset. It was absolutely incredible. We had a really, really nice time. Um, check it out on our social media where we went. It was really, really good. A nice break away from it all. It was. Um, so what I normally do is just don't take any equipment. Just leave it. Just leave it at home. Because I know what I'll do. I'll end up all night just doing stuff. And it, it's nice to take a break. It's all good. So as a like almost like a holistic way almost like a, a recharge to the to the mind and soul take a break it, I, it, it's hard it is hard for me to do that it really is it really is very difficult i can't really i'm not a sort of person to switch off i can't really do it um so re <laughs> i know it's just about just the way i am so um yeah, all good. Hope we're all good. So we're hoping we're gonna, it's going to be a crazy week today. You may have noticed on the no, ta uh, no Ted's there, not much variety, I know, but I've got a feeling 
um, I'm going to lose one of the um, one of the days due to the weather. I'm not sure, so that's why I've gone Coningsby Lake and Eve, Coningsby Lake and Eve. I'm a bit worried about Wednesday, so I thought, well, we can give it a go on Wednesday and see how it goes, but it doesn't, doesn't seem to be very dry here in the UK. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Don't forget to hit the like button. Do support the channel. I'm going to have a quick uh, brief look around and what to expect. Um, but we usually do a full show at Milden Hall. It is a United States Air Force in Europe base built in 1934 and served as a bomber base. I mean, it's amazing. It's vast. It's huge. Um, 1934, that's in the thick of things through Continental Threat, through World War II built as a bomber station 99B squadron with the Stirlings. Uh, Hayfords, sorry. Um, but yeah, hello. So yeah, all good. We'll talk a little bit about, about the D as well quickly while we wait for the uh, C-17 to refuel. We'll try and, um, we're looking about midday then if it's going to take about two hours to refuel a C-17. I actually have no idea how long it takes. It could be longer. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes today. Like I said, a nice chilled out stream. Just sit back, relax, and just enjoy it. We can have a little chat and talk about what's coming up for the rest of the week. As we said, uh, we are sort of dodging the weather a little bit. Um, I'm just going to just spin this round so you can see the gorgeous C-17 that arrived. Um, arrived about uh, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes ago. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Let's ride in a C-17. Thanks everyone for the super chats. Guards March is coming up for you. Oh wow, someone's hit 12 months as well. We've got Stephen Ainsworth as well. Thank you so much for hit, for doing that. 12 month service. What a great milestone that is to achieve with the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Wow, that is incredible. Thank you so much. Beautiful sounds of the birds in the background, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. This, like I said, this is going to be a chilled out stream today, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. So yeah, so um, from what I've been told, it's going to be a uh, refuel and go. So we'll, I'll keep an eye on that. It should be quite cool. It'd be nice to see it land and depart. And then that's it. Our little uh, sh sweet and neat stream today. Nothing at Lake and Eve, nothing at Coningsby, nothing at Marham today. Um, potentially something at uh, Bryce Norton. But um, I kept it local um, because Bryce Norton is about two and a half hours from me. And uh, after driving four hours, well, I didn't drive myself, but uh, thank you. 
uh, Claire Bear drove. Just uh, a lot of traveling. You know, as even if you're flying around uh, with connected flights and such, it uh, yeah can be uh, can take it out. Oh yeah! Don't forget, Lady Show Teddy Bears. Uh, the Ted Coningsby party tickets are now officially on sale. So don't miss out. There, all the details are on our Facebook page today. Went out on sale this morning. Do check it out and enjoy. There was only 33 tickets or so left to go, which they will go very quickly. In fact, they've probably sold out already, but uh, check it out, enjoy. Happy holidays everyone, happy Easter. Everyone tuned in, this is our squad leader, Ted Coningsby. That's right, he's, uh, he was on holiday with us as well, myself and Claire Bear. We had a wonderful time. Didn't we, Ted? It was good. Yeah, it was nice. It was, it was just so chilled out. It was really nice. Um, of course, that's where I'm from, Somerset. And uh, it was lovely to be back and just to explore um, without taking any equipment. I know, I know, we just uh, chilled out, didn't we, Ted? It was nice and relaxing, just chilling. Ted had plenty of salmon, didn't you? His belly's full now, rumbling. What's that? They're delivering the salmon here today as well. Are you gonna go and pick it up? Okay, cool, mate. <laughs> Good old Ted and his salmon. Lovely, lovely answers. Uh, lots of variety of answers, ranging from half an hour to two hours. People telling me about a refuel for the uh, time for the C17. Let's find out. Thanks everyone that's tuned in, ladies, gents, teddy bears, thank you so much. Guards marches coming up for my wonderful, wonderful people. And bears and teddy bears, you know how it is. Ted, how we doing? So, guards march coming up for you wonderful, wonderful ladies, gents, teddy bears. Jamie, how you doing, man? Member for 13 months. That's incredible. 13 months with the Ted Coningsby channel. Thank you so much for your loyal service, man. Thanks, Jamie. That's so kind of you. 13 months. Just keeping it sweet and neat with the channel and supported. That is awesome. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Guards March for Jamie. Uh, Margot, here's to our Royal Air Force since the 1st of April, 1918. Guards March for Margot Baxter. Thank you very much. Uh, Colin Patterson, member for four months, oi oi, and proud to be on board. Thank you so much, Colin Patterson. Thank you. Guards march for you. Thank you for four months service, sir. Mike Wizard, gifted a Ted Coningsby membership. High five. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you very much, sir. Guards march for you. Uh, Ian Wright for bringing this to us all on a bank holiday. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Guards March for you, man. Thanks a lot, Ian. Thank you very much. That's so kind of you. Thank you for the super chat. Richard Barnes gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Guards March for you. Don't forget to hit the like, Lady Shenta Teddy Bears. Thanks a lot, Richard. Alan Burden, 10 months membership. Thank you so much. So close to your 12 months. Guards March for you, man. 
uh, Jad for the coverage. Man, thank you very much. Watching from Australia, thank you very much. Guards March for you. And uh, as mentioned earlier, Stephen Ainsworth celebrating 12 months. Just realised I've been a member for 12 months. Ah, oh, yeah, what a community. Hope everyone's had a nice Easter. That is so cool. Thank you very much, man. And thank you for 12 months service with the Ted Coningsby channel. Stu Brick, thank you very much. Member for eight months as well. Thank you very much. Happy Easter, Ted. Reggie, Nikos, and all squadron members. Thank you very much, Stu Brick. Simon, watch on. Happy Easter, Ted. Nikos and Claire Bear. Man, thank you so much for the super chat. Guards March. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. John Samuels. Uh, bon Pasquetta a tutti. Bon Pascale. Okay, cool. Uh, John Samuels. Guards March. Thank you very much for the super chat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, let's have a look at this C-17, Ted. Oh, off he goes. Not a bad aircraft to be waiting for the old uh, refuel. There's the Bowser now, ready to refuel. So I guess it's only fair to start the time now, really, isn't it? Or when that arrived. So yeah, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, Ted Coningsby channel back after a nice little holiday. Really enjoyed that, really, really good. And uh, we just thought we'd keep it sweet and neat. It, from what I've heard, it's just this C-17. It sounds like it was from a gentleman that knows his stuff. So thank you very much for that. That's very kind of you. Well, if we're gonna get a, an arrival and a departure of a C-17 in a short space of time, we'll take that, isn't it? Absolutely incredible stuff. So it's just getting refueled now. Might as well focus the attention on the C-17 here. But uh, based here are the uh, C-1 M C C-130J Commando 2 aircraft, which is like a souped up Hercules. We've also got the CV-22 Ospreys, which uh, you can see here, which have been allowed to fly again. We've also got the KC-135 that's stationed here and based here permanently. And of course, we've got a um, an RC135 rivet joint as well, which is based here as well. Oh yeah, I'm in a nice chilled out mood today. You can tell by the tone of my voice. I've had a really nice break. Uh, just want to say massive thank you to Kino, Ian Wright and Daniel Walker um, for, your, uh, for your lovely photos of your TCS adventure. I had a message from the Heritage Centre at RAF Coltishaw uh, saying that he met up with you all um, from your visit and uh, he was quite happy with what you guys were doing and he was quite happy to uh, host and uh, everything for you and from the photos. Thank you for that. Kino, that is a lovely self-portrait of Ted. If you haven't seen it already, uh, check it out on our Facebook page because Kino and Discord, of course, um, Kino did a wonderful self-portrait of Ted. Absolutely beautiful. So we are here at RAF Building Hall. This is a United States Air Force base in Europe. Gonna give you a little tour of the base as well. Just, just so you know what the Ted Coningsby channel's all about while that's getting refueled. You'll notice the square D on the tower there. You'll also notice the square D on the KC-135s. I'd love to show you, but I can't because it's not one. Uh, actually, might be able to, might be able to sort of, you know, pop up something. Hang on, let's have a look. Might be able to, make something up here hang on let's have a look here we can catch it i mean that is far away man let's have a look what i can do hang on 
you can probably see it. Let me use a bit of digital zoom. Hang on, won't be the most clearest, but uh, you can see the square detail markings there. Why is it on there? What does it mean? Ladies, gents, teddy bears, for those that know or heard of the bloody hundredth, the legacy lives on here. So while they play a particular route, um, role today as a 100th air refuelling wing, along with the squadron that's here with it today, serving under the 100th air refuelling wing, the 350, sorry, the 351st, excuse me there, 351st air refuelling squadron is the squadron that flies the KC-135s, now you can see them there. The Square D is only on the KC-135s um, because the legacy goes back all the way to RAF Thorpe Abbotts and the 100th Bomb Group, known as the Bloody 100th. And they're here today and they serve and honour those in their legacy with this square detail marking which once once on the square detail markings for the B-17s during the World War II and that was from the United States Army Air Force there's been a program I believe on Apple TV um, featuring this at RAF Thorpe Abbotts the bloody hundredth legacy lives on today but that really is a sort of like runs parallel with the whole history in the beginning with Lake and Eve, believe it or not and here the sort of like the the triangular historical feed that I give to tell you about the history is now becoming a sort of like a linked history with everything I tell you so the fact that the 100th bomb group was serving at um, RAF Fort Thorpe Abbotts with the mighty 8th ladies and gentlemen teddy bears the legacy still lives on what's really cool is that this is the only World War II tail marking still in, still in use today they're, they're, they're uh, being honoured to fly this tail marking it's the only World War II tail marking today it is amazing to think that the history lives on and those that made the ultimate sacrifice lives on um, the other interesting feature and something really cool as well as a visual is the nose art of the 100th bomb group used on the um, nose of the b-17s are also on the port side of the kc-135s check it out at some point but they are when you go you can go to RA thorpe abbotts today it is a museum they do have the tower still there it's a wonderful museum and you will see the nose art that was on the B-17s, you'll see the patches of them as well. And guess what? They're on the they're on the nose of the KC-135s. That is exciting, my friends. That is absolutely cool. I love history and I love the passion and I love telling it because I am a person and a channel that have integrated my passion for aircraft with the history and the passion for the aircraft and the airmen serving today. It is as ready as it was in 1940, for example, as they are today. They're still doing the same thing. The whole point, protecting the airspace. Whether Royal Air Force or United States Air Force, we have them here in the, in the UK, and it's an absolute honor and a pleasure to have them here. And I love the integrated history. You've got to think, men left the US to come here, left their homes, to fly and to fight for and made the ultimate sacrifice for freedom it is it is a long history and one we shall never forget because regardless of where they came from they came here to carry on to fight for freedom amazing absolutely absolutely amazing it really is when we do a full stream here at Milton I'll give you the whole whole details but ladies gents teddy bears built in 1934 RAF Mildenhall and it served as one of the largest bomber stations in England it wasn't the largest but it was one of which is absolutely incredible um, 99B squadron came here equipped with the Handley Page Hayford bombers just to give you now you know I love doing that you know how it is you know I love telling you who was first it's all good. Um, we also had 149 Squadron joining 99 uh, Squadron as well. Uh, 149 Squadron came here um, with the Vickers Wellington. So you have Wellington and Hayfords here, Lady Strings Teddy Bears. Like I said, built in 1934. 
So I hope you've got your stopwatches on as this C17 is being refueled and ready to go soon. In 1940, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, about five and a half miles the way the backwards crow flies, just behind these buildings in this direction. Oh, yes, it's one of your favorite air bases. That's right, RAF Lake and Heath. Guess what, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? RAF Lake and Heath uh, was built as a decoy airfield, a Q, a Q site. What is a Q site? A from sources, I've also read that it could be called a K site as well, but nevertheless, a decoy airfield, what does this mean? It served as a decoy airfield, so basically a fake airfield, a pretend airfield, so Mildred Wall wouldn't get bombed. So um, have a look at it, research it, because it's got like fake bombs, dim lights, and it's made to be a fake airfield, right? So basically, if there was an attack, all the lights still be, wouldn't be on, but Lake and Eve will be on, and being so close to it, it would take the hit. However, things changed. Lake and Eve was then run as a satellite station to Moon Hall. So, RAF Lake and Eve became fully functional. Sterling's went over there. And Wellington's. Amazing how it all works together. But, while this was going on during the war, during the 40s, ladies, gents and teddy bears, we need to go. So while in 1940, uh, sorry, 1934, it was a Royal Air Force base, and this is why the name Royal Air Force still continues, even though this is in fact a United States Air Force base. So, while this was a United States Air Force base, we have to go to 1943 and go all the way to Thorpe Abbotts, which is not far away. It's sort of like Bury St. Edmunds, uh, this direction. This, D-I-S-S. <laughs> and uh, it was a station built for the United States Army Air Force, and that was in 1943. It was built for the Bloody 100th, that's right. They got their name Bloody 100th, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, not because they lost the most. So remember that, it wasn't because they lost the, the most airmen and had suffered the most losses, it was the amount they lost during each mission which gave them that nickname. So Station 139, also known aka RAF for Thorpe Abbotts, it was initially originally built for the Royal Air Force, but uh, um, with operational needs, they um, it was um, it was the United States Army Air Force uh, that designated uh, to that base the 100th Bomb Group. So this is where it's going to end up linking with here. Um, brought with them 349th, 350th. 351st and the 418th bombardment groups. Now they're over there. They're over at Thorpe Abbotts, right? Ladies, gents, teddy bears, they're over there. The thing is, and remember the 351st bombardment group, you got a uh, bombardment squadron, sorry, my, my apologies. You've got to remember that, that, that particular squadron because they're here. They are here today, right? And the, of course, the 100th legacy are here as well. They're flying the B-17s over there suffering horrend i mean there was one the, the the raid at munster the most don't i don't know the words to use really 13 went one come back and it was hardly it hardly come back it had two engines out holes all over the flak impact uh crewman injured shot to pieces um it barely got here but it did just to give you that and that was in 1943 um, and that was just to come back with one. Started off with 18, I think it was, and five um, had to turn back. Uh, they had a, a few issues. So yeah, the uh, 100th Bomb Group, they're doing their thing at RAF Thorpe Abbotts. Now this is obviously still continuing to be a Royal Air Force base, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, but um, we're gonna now feast. <laughs> I'm trying to give you, um, because it worked last time with me, uh, the 100th Bomb Group. And it, the good thing is, is to try to 
let you know what's going on over there and for it to link here because it is really interesting ladies gents and teddy bears it really is and the other interesting thing as well that uh, if one you know if, if for those that are regulars with our milden or streams the 100th uh, bomb um, air refueling wings still have the original royal air force station crest of Mildenhall on the top above the D. I'll focus that on in a second. Check it out though, check it out the um, the history of Thorb Abbots and have a look at the uh, B-17s with the beautiful uh, square detail marking by the way. And yeah, they, they suffered many, many losses uh, during each mission. After the uh, Second World War, so we've got to let's just have a quick, um, quick rundown to our air thought habits. So, 100 bomb group. Let's let's think about their combat missions. Uh, the last one was in 1945. All right. So 1945, that was the last combat mission, 20th of April 1945. I believe one of their last, I think the last mission was um, like a humanitarian airdrop, I think it was. If I, 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 I read so much history, sometimes I get them all mixed up, but I hope that is correct. Um, where they, I'm sure it was the last one uh, where they dropped food, uh, you know, like um, crew, um, dropping food over Netherlands. Uh, over, I think it was over, um, as well as uh, France. I think occupied, Fr well, was occupied France at the time after the war, of course. Um, dropping, I think it was a humanitarian combat. So kind of a nice end to the uh, to that. But of course, they moved the 100th bomb wing. They moved. Um, some of their squadrons. Now, this is where we tie into RAF Bryce Norton. Now, the uh, 351st moved to RAF Bryce Norton uh, with their B-47s. While that was going on, they, they didn't quite establish themselves, and then they, that was it. That was the end of them. They uh, they deactivated. But guess what? We need. We now need to go into the 50s and come back here right so hope you've got this sorted i hope you're here so post-war then we're coming back here uh it's still an, uh, a royal air force base here ladies gents teddy bears but this is where it all changes the strategic air command you'll see them abbreviated as sacs they came here as well you had b50ds ladies gents and teddy bears super fortresses so the strategic air command we won't go into too much detail but the 22nd bombardment wing 93rd bombardment wing and the 509th bombardment wing they came here as what they call a rotational uh like a ro rotational strategic bomb wing so okay they'll take it in like a rotation in turns during the cold war but what brings the cold war as well guess what a good old sr 71 blackbird were here as well <laughs> they were here for quite some time you also had the u2s as well that flew here as well ladies gents and teddy bears so just to give you an idea also a tactical airlift wing of the 513th with their EC-135H Silk Purse. If you don't know what that is, O-M-S. Oh my salmon, it's silky salmon. It is beautiful. SR-71 Blackbirds, as we said, with the 9th Strategic Reconnaissance Wing. You had U-2s here. It's all good here. This was a good base. So yeah, the you had the you had the um, the three fifty first they disbanded. Uh, the and now we're talking about the one hundredth air refueling wing. So in nineteen seventy six, uh, let's have a look. I've just got a the the one hundredth air refueling wing was still going. They were serving as the uh, part of the they were refueling. Let's just think about this for a minute. So you've got the 351st, right, squadron, and you've got the 100th Air Refueling Wing, right? They were once bomb groups, how, or bomber squadrons. What a role, what a role change. And that's another interesting thing that I, 
that I always um, think about. And also, they became the 100th Air Refueling Wing um, just before that also became a strategic reconnaissance wing as well. So they've just finished the cold, uh, sorry, the Second World War's at Bombardment Wing. They're now into the Cold War. They're becoming a, um, the, they were a medium uh, bomber and then they changed to, a, they were part of the Strategic Air Command, all right? trying to get all this info into a simple terms but then the bomb wing then became like i said then they ended up with b-47s uh their, some of their squadrons ended up at bryce norton and then in the end during the cold war they became a strategic reconnaissance wing amazing isn't it to think of all this and then finally they became the 100th air refueling wing ladies gents and teddy bears so on the 1st of february 92 the 100th air refueling wing came here with their kc 135s and they brought with them their square d on the tower at Mildenhall. Still got it on digital zoom, so it might be a bit rough. Hang on. There we go. Sorry about that. Sorry if it was looking a bit Commodore 64 there for a minute. Oh well, while I was telling the history, it gave that sort of historical feel, right? <laughs> how's our Bowser doing? All right, how's that refueling going? It's now 10.31. Of salmon there, look. Cool. Don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel, it does help. I know it's going to be a so, uh, slow, sweet and neat stream today with uh, just the case, uh, sorry, just the uh, C17. Um, why not hit the like button and do support the channel? All you've got to do is subscribe and like, it's free. And do forget to marry up the uh, subscribe button with the notification bell button because that way you won't miss out on our latest and greatest live streams and videos. Oi oi Neil Prowse, how you doing? Hank with Hugh, how's it going? Lots of you uh, telling me about a C5 Galaxy. And of course ladies, gents and teddy bears, as we do this morning, as we've done so, don't forget to share the stream as well, it does help share it and also if you go on our main page share the channel there are many you know there's going to be a lot of people that haven't discovered our channel yet so sharing the stream sharing our channel will help whether you're sharing on social medias or just share it in a whatsapp oh yes um let's have a look lots of people reporting about the c5 galaxy um let's have a look that'd be pretty that'd be a bonus wouldn't it Very high. I wonder if it's gonna. We kind of need that to descend, don't we? That'll be good. The guessing game of uh, train, uh, plate, train spotting. Do you know why I mentioned train spotting? Because uh, I was, t I was telling the Claire Bear about a moment I had with uh, Ted. I know Ted looked at me funny when I was uh, recording um, the trains by RAF Valley, and he looked at me going, "We're not doing them." <laughs> Nothing against it, just uh, I don't think we'll be able to fit that in.
we can get that C5. Look at the way the uh, C17 changes colour in the different different light. Amazing that, that even the uh, even the CV22 Ospreys look awesome. You know, and then suddenly look at this. Suddenly, sometimes they go almost like off white, don't they? Amazing! It's incredible that paint that they use. Okay, so that's that's what the Bowser's gone now. Half an hour. Ted wants you to hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, do support the channel. So it's going to be a sweet and neat bank holiday chilled out stream. to everyone hope you're all good wherever you are let's have a look we'll just keep an eye on that c5 i mean if it starts if it starts descending wouldn't that just be a good luck, wouldn't that? It's at 30, currently just keeping a steady 35,000 feet. If it starts descending now, we're, we could be in for a bit of a treat. So that looks like the crew going back in. Well, the, um, the C-17 headed for Portsmouth and was that sort of like, just trying to think of the altitude, about, uh, about 20,000 feet, 23,000 feet or so, roughly. A little bit, maybe a little bit lower. So, of course, this is a C-5. I don't know how this all works, but uh, just to give you an idea, it was around about the 20,000 feet around about Portsmouth and then headed uh, northeast, heading for Mildenhall. So we'll see if this C-5 does the same. Reach 2211. But if it stays at 35,000 feet, um, I doubt it. Selling fast, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. We have nearly sold out, I think. Lots of people going, got it, got mine, got mine. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah. I think just, uh, yep, yeah, it's quite <laughs> selling fast. JD, how you doing? Mr. Turpin52, how you doing? Ain't with you. Nice to see our members on here. Thank you very much, members. John Minter, Silver Trick, how you all doing? Abel, how's it going? Jonathan McDee, Lauren, Alan Burden, Shane Davis, how are you all doing? Derek Reed, how's it all going? Hope you're all good and a massive oi oi. A happy oi oi Easter to you. Let's see what we're going to get. Keeping on that. Um, C5. It's hasn't descended just yet.
Jonathan McD, oi oi. <laughs> Hope we're all good and enjoying the uh, chilled out show. So uh, this could be departure time very shortly, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. To me, that looked about half an hour, didn't it? For the refueling. You're welcome, you're welcome. It's got a nice Maguire Air Force base on there, isn't it? Lovely. Looks like the escort vehicle, isn't it? Hope we're good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel. We're live here at RAF Milden Hall. How are we doing? This is a United States Air Force base. And I'm just trying to think if I actually told you why it's still got a Royal Air Force name. Basically, <laughs> it still retains the title because it was built as a Royal Air Force uh, base. And that is the official name for it. Regardless of who um, who is um, <clears throat> uh, operating the base, it will still retain. It won't It won't be called Milden Hall Air Force Base due to the fact that it's uh, that's its name, basically. So it doesn't look like the uh, C five is descending. So there's two actually. <laughs> there's two. One's just to the south of Ireland, and one's over uh, Devon at the moment, just north of uh, Hokehampton.
don't forget to hit the like button ladies and gents teddy bears it does actually support the channel it does help it it's not like a facebook or an instagram post where it's a, a numbers game hitting the like button will have major impact on our channel and of course this stream youtube will recommend the stream if you start hitting the likes and the chat's buzzing basically getting a thousand likes will get youtube to recommend the stream recommended streams mean more viewers it means basically more exposure for us hopefully we get more viewers and those viewers will hopefully convert to more subscribers allowing us to have a bigger and better channel so i can get more fuel in the van as well from all the support and all the views so i can carry on doing and bringing live military aviation on your dog and bone your wobbly jelly or your lamb chop as drew would say <laughs> Nice. Right, let's see what we got here and all. Oh, there's a lot of people there, isn't there? There's a lot, there's a lot of troops there. There's a lot of it. Um, there's a lot of airmen there. Yes, bro. Lovely car. Looks like the, uh, I don't think the C5, unfortunately, I don't think it's coming here. Should have started to descend, I think, by now. Maybe. Just my thoughts. If you're watching, thank you very much. I uh, hope you've all had a sun break. And for those on holiday, hope you enjoyed your holidays. Minty 1981, how you doing? Welcome. Morning, Alan Q, how you doing? Hope you're good. John Minter, how's it going? Tim Gooch, oi oi. Nice one, Eric, how's it going? Derek Reed, hope you're good.
Lady Shen's Teddy Bears. Hope we're all good. Ted Coningsby Channel live here at RAF Building. All hope we're all good. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So we're just uh, awaiting this lovely C17 to depart. Let's see what else we've got here. Just to show you around for next time for those that are new. First of all, what is rare is the fact that we've got a blue sky. five there. Yeah, we usually uh, stream, what, three, four times a month here? Thereabouts, about three. Depending, on, of course, what sort of schedule we got for the week. So, tomorrow we're at Ted HQ, then Lake and Eve, back to Ted HQ for Thursday, and then Lake and Eve for Friday. So, let's see. The reason why I've done it like that, because I think one of those days is going to be <laughs> scrubbed due to the weather, but we'll see. I'll still go, I will still go to these places, uh, the bases, but I won't, um, but yeah, I'll judge it and see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, that C5 is a little bit high, what do you reckon? That really needs to start descending if it's gonna come here. So we're just waiting for this C17. Hopefully it'll depart. It's looking good, it's had a refuel already so it's just waiting for a departure it's the 
uh, CV22 Ospreys. And just to confirm, they have been cleared to uh, fly again. Just uh, got to catch it on the right day. everyone that's tuned in today on this uh, bank holiday this uh, Easter special hope we're all good hope you all had happy holidays and for those on holiday that are tuning in later hello hello <laughs> hope you're all good or as we say oi oi let's have a look right let's check out that CC5 there is there was another one that was south of Ireland as well but I haven't it is sort of heading this way but without them descending now, that doesn't. Well, the one, the one over uh, over England right now, just above Winchester, really needs to start descending. Yeah, welcome to this uh, chilled out stream from the Ted Coningsby channel. With my post this morning about the Royal Air Force being the largest air force of its kind, independent of its kind, um, we're going to just talk about the Square D. Now, as we've talked about the la largest air, air force during the World War II, or at least at the beginning, um, shall I say, at the beginning of World War II, the United States Army Air Force was a smaller component, a small service in comparison to the air forces of Europe. Um, at first, the United States Army Air Force's deployment to Europe uh, involved relatively small numbers of fighters and bomber aircraft, and there was no system of group identification that was used at that time. However, as you know, things changed. Uh, there wasn't really an official marking system, and some aircraft were identified by numbers painted on their fuselage. I think there was Echo Papa for the 351st uh, Bombardment Squadron. Now, the Royal Air Force, of course, being that larger air force, they used a two-digit code to denote a squadron and a third single letter uh, after their round all, uh, which would identify uh, any aircraft within the squadron. Also, it was believed that I think wing commanders had their own initials. Not sure how true that is, but uh, that seems to be a said thing. Uh, the system was impractical in combat, so by June 1943, the first tail system appeared. So they, I posted on Discord the many letters. Ah, oh, just had the new C5 going to Ramstein. Never mind. Uh, so <laughs> the uh, the system of um, the mark the tail system was was created, and there was there was all these letters in a geometric geometric shape. Uh, around in the UK, we had all sorts of letters, like the letter K, and of course D, a, t a T as well. Check it out. Have a look on Discord. I put some of the. Um, of course, you can research that on uh, on, on the internet. So, um, during the Second World War, bomb groups departing from, from England uh, joined massive formations over the North Sea before heading toward their targets. Now, to ensure members of that same group would meet up and form and get in formation together, the bombers had the tail marking uh, unique to each group. It looks quite stunning when you've got a fleet of aircraft, a flight of aircraft. C5 avoiding Peterborough. 
<laughs> love it. Uh, so yeah, so the tail marking system, um, as we know, consists of a, uh, a letter within a geometric shape. Now for the 100th bomb group was the, uh, the unit, the 100th air refueling wing descended from, the marking was the letter D inside the square. And here we go, this is what it is. So you'll see them on the historic photos of the B-17s. And nowadays you have them on the KC-135 and of course Mildenhall's Tower. The square D became the official designation of the 3rd Air Division and the subordinate 100th Bomb Group. To this day the 100th Air Refueling Wing is the only Air Force unit to continue using the World War II tail marking. Uh, though the Army Air Force 3rd Division and the 4th Bombardment Group Wing and the 100th Bomb Group only remain in history books, their legacies, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears, live on through the 100th Air Refueling Wing and the square D tail marking. So we are, in effect, just waiting for this C-17 to depart and that'll be us for the day. A nice chilled out stream just to get us in things, into swing of things from our uh, nice uh, three day holiday. It was absolutely brilliant, I really enjoyed it, really, really good. Went to sunny Somerset and it was sunny, it was really nice. Teddy Bears. Other than that, that's all I've heard that's planning to depart. David Wolfman Wells, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. Oh yeah. Well, the wind is picking up to a point where it's no beret at the moment, unfortunately. Come on, C-17, you know you can go. It just wants us to uh, stream for a bit longer. That's what, that's what the plan is for that. Marco Baxter, for my span of flight colleagues, TCS members, and happy Easter to our Gaza 29. Bring back my weather reporter and the tornado. Guards March, Margo, thank you very much.
Guards March, Margot Baxter. Thank you very much for that. There you go. <laughs> Margot, I've had to take Ted's beret off because it's uh, it's just uh, it's not happening. Thanks for your super chat, Margot. Much appreciated. But for my Spanner Flight colleagues, TCS members, and happy Easter to our Gaza 29, bring back weather reporter and tornado guards march. Shane Davis, thank you very much, member for 12 months. Oh, I say, I've turned blue. Morning, guys, thank you very much. Guards march for you, man. Thank you so much for your 12 month membership, man. Thanks for being a loyal member for 12 months. Thank you. That's so kind of you. Uh, Shropshire Walker, wow, check this out as well. 16 months. Still loving the channel and the community. Well done, Ted and Nikos and Spanner crew. Guards march for you and thank you for 16 months loyal service with the Ted Coningsby Squadron. That's immense, isn't it? Um, lots of milestones today. Jonathan McDee's only one more month away. Uh, member for 11 months. I was so close to that blue badge. Thank you very much. Guards march for you. Thank you. One more month. See you when you go blue. Uh, White Wizard gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Thanks, man. So kind of you. Thank you very much. And White Wizard gifting another Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you so much. And apologies for no beret. It's it'll probably go straight in the base if we had Ted to bear on right now. It's really bad at the moment. And thanks a lot, White Wizard, for another Ted Coningsby gifted membership. Thank you. Guards march. Oh, check this one out. Oh, this is good, Ted. That's a proper one, isn't it? <laughs> Babs are Guards March for you, gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. You say change tempo right now. Kevin Marshall, member for six months. Uh, oi, oi, Ted, Dick, Oscar, Fan of Flight, and TCS. Can't believe it's been six months as a member. Keep up the fantastic work. Hello. Thank you very much and congratulations for having the red badge next to your name. Thanks so much for six months of membership. LEJ Approach, gifting one Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, good. Watching from Germany. Check Ted out, look at him. And uh, Andrew Stevens, another another big one. 14 months membership, that's a biggie, that one. Oi, oi, everybody. Uh, good morning from a sunny Ipswich. Um, Alan, uh, sorry, Andrew Stevens, sorry. Andrew Stevens, thank you so much. God's march for you. Thank you so much for 14 months of loyal service with the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Ah, oh, yeah. So we're just waiting for this uh, C-17, who's kind of like the... <laughs> trying to think of the words to say, but um, the stream depends on this C-17. Uh, we aren't waiting for its departure from what we believe will be the only movement for a very long time today. So that's fine. We've, had, we've, seen, it, we've seen it arrive and we'll see it depart. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Yeah. 
oh, it's nice for a change for it to be sunny. That's quite nice. I'll take that any day. <laughs> for those that know what I have to go through a lot of the time is uh, this is quite a weather from the Bahamas right now. Hopefully we'll get you departed, departure details very shortly, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. I believe this has been refueled. Yes, it's promising now. Oh, hello. It is a stunning aircraft. Um, it's my uh, favorite non-fighter aircraft. How are we doing ladies, Shen Steady Bears? Hope we're all good. Ted Connings be channeled live here at RAF Mildenhall, home of the uh, 100th air refueling wing. We are expecting this to depart today at some point <laughs> and that's what we're going to wait we've had the arrival this morning if you want to have a look it was uh, literally first thing i think 10 minutes in everyone that's tuned in today hope we're all good hopefully the weather starts to behave itself in the next few weeks i'm even giving it a few weeks as well
cup of tea might make aircraft movement. That's the tradition, isn't it? See, make the aircraft come out. Sorted. Come on in. Where's this movement? Now, oh, ladies, dress any best. Don't forget to hit the like button. Do support the channel. Oh yes, we are on for a very successful year, 2024, for the Ted Coningsby channel. We are on our way to 50,000 subscribers, I know. Who'd have thought we'd be getting close to 50,000 subscribers? We're almost there. What do you think? Two months, the way the, way the channel climbs? I mean, with the weather. <laughs> getting the better of, our, uh, better of our streams most of the time. We should be all right. Two months, I reckon. So what, April, May, June, June the 1st. See if we can get 50K by June the 1st. Can we do it? live military aviation as the wind picks up a little bit look at this there you go check this out my own milden hall mug <laughs> well look i've opened it so i've cracked it open let's have a look come on Ladies and 
Steady Bands. And don't forget to subscribe and do click that all important notification bell button. It really is important if you don't want to miss out on the latest and greatest live streams and videos. Oh, it's nice that it's sunny as well, actually. Pretty good. freshened up with a nice dose of tea. Right, what else we got here in all? Nothing at the moment. Nothing on comms or anything, so uh so. Don't forget ladies, gents and teddy bears. RAF Mildon Hall does have its surprises as well can be used for exercises as well. So we've had the, a nice variety of exotic aircraft here in the past. And of course, you never know what you're gonna get. It's always different. Today, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any of the aircraft that are based here. It looks like we've just got this one that's C-17 that arrived early this morning. Uh, not too long ago, to be honest, about two hours ago. Was it two hours ago? About two hours ago. And uh, we're hoping for its departure as well. That will see our stream. All about this C17. <laughs> That's the way it goes. You never know. But uh, if you are confounded to only um, in your availability, only for weekends and uh, bank holidays, then RAF Milton Hall or Bryce Norton is for you. Again, it's not going to be exactly busy. Uh, mind you, Good Friday was certainly busy this Friday. Uh, both Milton Hall and Bryce Norton in the end, by the look of it. Um, not exactly busy, but just five movements, I'd say, from, uh, from both in five, six, seven hours or thereabouts. But Milton will certainly look busy. deteriorating here and there there are some days that are going to be okay i've no idea what fridays are going to bring but uh, we'll go for it we'll go for it so coningsby tuesday and thursday and uh, lake and for wednesday and friday to give you a bit of a like i said i've planned it that way because i think one of them is going to get emotional it is horrendous on one of the days i think it's wednesday that's probably going to be the loss but if i can get anything so be it. Looks like they're using 06 as well, but not 100% sure. But the wind can play it, so I'm only going by the prediction of the wind. It looks like a 06 on Wednesday, but uh, stay safe out there wherever you are in the world. There is some grim weather around, lots of storms. And um, of course, we are in the, uh, just to let you know, we are in uh, John's Field. It's only £2 per person for the whole day. And uh, do abide by the uh, opening and closing times as you uh, drive in. Enjoy. And of course, usual usual respectful rules that we always say please take your litter home there are no bins here provided so please please take uh, put it in a bag if you can because obviously as we said uh, bring um start getting a habit of bringing in like a like a, a roll of bin liners or something you know like uh, pedal bin liners that kind of thing and just put them in a bag and dispose of them at home 
take it with you. Thank you very much. And of course, do respect the base's fence and property. Don't climb the fence, don't damage, don't cut the fence, don't climb it, don't rest your ladders on it. There is a uh, platform provided as well, which is quite nice that you can uh, stand on just to give you a bit more clearance. And of course, do not fly drones. It is against the law. You will be in serious trouble as well. crash gates here in this in this field to worry about but of course if you do come across crash gates please don't park your vehicle uh, there are signs clearly marked to tell you not to park here and keep the exit clear because it is what it is a crash gate so it looks like they're lo are they loading that is that what they're loading is that the cargo is that going in or out going to wait for that to load. Just going to have a look at the skies on ADS-B or flight radar, see what we got, if there's anything. There you go, as you can see, I mean, let's see, we got the, oh, two C5s, none of them, oh, sorry, there were two earlier, none of them coming here, sadly. Walker, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. Birdman just chasing the uh, chasing, scaring the birds off. AWCU vehicle. It's the Airfield Wildlife Control Unit. We'll use all methods to uh, deter wildlife away, whether birds or other wildlife, if needed, to clear them off. And that's AWCU. Normally, you get them get that written on the. Yeah, you can just about see it actually. That's their vehicle.
AWCU Airfield Wildlife Control Unit. The only um, a couple of exceptions, deers have to be um, dealt with by a specialist. If they see deer, which they do get, they do not deal with deer. And also there's a bit of a restriction of course on birds of prey. They are protected here in the UK and they have to go through different measures for that. They have to call the council and it's quite rare that they actually need to be um, they'll try, you know, well, if, if it's too late and they've got a nest nearby, there's not much they can do except to contact the council about it, who will get specialists to try and, I don't know what they do, to be honest with that, it's a bit of a, it's, yeah, it's quite complex because they, uh, they are a protected species, so the plan would be to not even, you know, make sure that they don't nest here. They are, uh, oh, hello. But yeah, not nice day. You can see uh, Bryce Norton's already had a, quite a few movements, two movements, sorry, and uh, got black cat doing circuits as well, which is, uh, that's what I mean, it, you, could, you could get this here, you can get this over there, you might get a dead day over there, you might get a dead day. It just really is pot luck, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears. Just enjoy it. You know, plant to seed, nothing. If you get anything, bonus. We got an arrival today of the, this C17, and from what I've heard, this is going out as well. So it's had a refuel. Um, it's been loaded, I guess. Looks like they're done. Looks like it. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's done. more but yeah a nice steady stream to start us off for the week and uh, I am enjoying that it's a little bit dry at the moment I don't want to tempt fate or anything it's looking good a uh, bit windy but that's normal I could deal with that usually it's a little bit more windy up here so that's that's that loaded so I'm hoping we're gonna get start getting departure details see this sort of thing as well sometimes I know we're not exactly probably in the right angle we needed I guess to be back you know to see behind it to see the loading process but uh, at least we got to see some different things when we come in again like I said you can see very different things every, you know on your next visit when you come here tomorrow will be a very different story Seven hundred and fifteen likes is pretty good for uh, for a very very chilled out slow day. So uh, thank you all for uh, doing that. Thank you very much, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Don't forget, tickets are now officially on sale for our Ted Coningsby Party 2.0, which is on the first of December, 2024, uh, in uh, Woodhall Spa. Tickets are now officially on sale. Members have the privilege of getting priority tickets. There's only a few tickets left uh, on our social media, so don't miss out. Check it out, it includes Buffet, our usual fundraising events with raffle and auctions, and hopefully, fingers crossed, some special guests, like we did last year. Davey, how you doing, man? Hope you're good. Margo, hope you're well. Chris Blockso, how you doing, man?
17 alike, bringing back some memories. You're welcome, Tina, who's, uh, who's put, I love this, always reminds me of the days with my dad plane spotting with him, uh, meeting up with his friends. It's like one big family, I love it. So, so interesting, and thank you so much. Well, I won't pan it over, you might catch it by accident, but there's a, a young lad with his dad, and I, I love that. They've just come here, little, little lad was on his bike, just chilling on the platform. I think that's so sweet, I love stuff like this. I mean, what a nice thing to do. It's, it's a nice hobby, it's, it's brilliant, it's educational, it's historical as well. And it's awesome. <laughs> so, and it's um, yeah, usually, you know, I mean, okay, it was two pounds to get here, right? But generally it's free, but two pounds is nothing, right? So this is an absolutely great, you're in, you're outside, you're doing something, you're away from, you know, it might inspire that child to become a pilot. Maybe the dad was ex-forces and, um, you know, maybe this will inspire the son or daughter uh, to, um, to, to become part of the Air Force. It's amazing, it's such a cool thing. Nothing wrong with that, Craig. Absolutely awesome. See? Keeps families, you know, bonding together and just, I'm sure the dad's got lots of stories to tell. I love this, oh, I love this. The dad's pointing to his son, pointing at a plane in the sky. I think that's cute, love it. Love it, love it. Liam, how you doing? Liam Ward, how you doing? Steve Norris, how's it going? Good morning. And of course, good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening, wherever you're watching from in the world. Welcome to the show. A nice chilled out show today. Um, there will be just probably just one more movement and that's our show done. Uh, from what I've heard, it's just the C-17 uh, until well, maybe tonight perhaps or tomorrow morning, but uh, enjoy. At least we caught this uh, good timing to see the C-17. It's quite nice. We're usually not here when the C-17 comes in. <laughs> well, it's obviously had cargo, so I don't know if it's going to do a, um, a tactical departure. Wouldn't that be just great? <laughs> right, either way, I'm excited to see this. everyone that's tuned in today thank you for this uh, quiet stream nice chilled out it's quite good for me because i've just finished uh, my holiday first day back and uh, all chilled out it's really cool i'm in a, a nice chilled out mood this is actually quite cool uh, get me back into the swing of things ready to go and unleash tomorrow morning at uh, ted hq we do try and aim to stream uh, five days a week where possible unless the weather gets the better of us which uh, it can do and it has done but uh, the stream must go on. <laughs> Find out where we are, just go onto our uh, 
YouTube community page or go to our website, tedconningsby.co.uk, or if you click onto our community page, uh, look out for No Teds. That's what you want to look out for, whether you go on our website, click No Teds, or if you go to our community page, updated usually every Sunday, but because we were still driving back, didn't get back till uh, ne nearly midnight, um, you just go on, it'll be Monday, it'll be today, I'll put the uh, No Teds up this morning, so check it out, but usually every Sunday. The good thing about using our community page on uh, YouTube, we will update of any um, cancellations or uh, changes in location but you can check it out we have a kind of like a uh, schedule for the year it's updated every week thanks Barry for the updates on that Crazy amount of heat haze, isn't it? Daniel Walker, I hope you're good, man. details for, for you just yet on this um, yeah just gonna wait they're pretty busy on the runway clearing it getting it cleared from uh, wildlife AWC just going up and down doing, it, doing their thing but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it to see this tomorrow I can tell you that much
How are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Thanks for tuning in on this uh, very chilled out Easter special just for this C17. This C17 is uh, having its very own show with the Ted Coningsby channel. A beautiful aircraft, massive aircraft, and an absolute, a very agile aircraft, shall we say. I've seen, we've seen this do some very impressive uh, running and brakes at uh, RAF Bryce Milton. We've seen it do what's uh, an equivalent of a performance takeoff, or at least a uh, quick climb, uh, which is called a tactical departure. It is in absolutely incredible. If you've never seen one before, um, a tactical departure, check it out. We've got one on our uh, on our YouTube channel. Just put, uh, just go on our videos and put in uh, tactical departure. You will love it. It is. I mean, I wasn't expecting it. I didn't even know these things can do it. It's just when it started to uh, get airborne, start uh, onto a uh, rolling on takeoff, um, it leveled out, and I was thinking, uh, what's going on here? It wasn't wasn't climbing anymore. It was. It just leveled out at uh, at silly feet, <laughs> and uh, I was thinking, um, what's going on here? And uh, it just went straight up for, for, for a large aircraft. Um, I mean, it was very, 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 very steep for what it was. Pilot contact me said it was only on 80% as well. It wasn't quite max power. And I was thinking that was only 80%. It was amazing. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'd love to see that. It's, it's an incredible aircraft. I'd love to see one low level. I've, not, I've never seen one go through the Lake District or Mac Loop. I'd love to see that. That would be... One of my all-time please need to take that off the list. That would be an aircraft I'd love to see through the Mac Loop or the Lake District or at least in a low-flying area. That would be impressive. I'd love that because they are very, very agile. They really are for a huge aircraft like that. It's impressive. Royal Air, Royal Air Force have them as well. The C-17 Globemaster III. Aren't you? So Ted's not flown yet this year. Ted, you're leaving it a bit late, but all that can change. So our very own squadron leader does, does fly. Ted's just not going to wear his beret for a bit today because it's it's gusting quite badly. Um, I'm a bit worried that his beret will just end up uh, in the base and uh, I don't think they need to deal with things like this today. I think they've got enough going on at the moment, Ted. Because our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, has just come back from holiday. Ted, did you enjoy it? Ted had quite a bit of salmon. He's, uh, he's feeling a bit full from all this salmon. He loved that. So Ted's not flown yet this year, so we are awaiting uh, Ted to get flying again this year. Um, but the only sad thing is when Ted flies, uh, I know we miss him and it's not the same without him. So we're just literally going to be here just for this and I don't know how long this is going to take. It could be hours. <laughs> oh well, that will uh, literally straight back from holiday with a uh, RAF Milton Nord Stream. We're just, uh, at the moment, just one movement, but we are expecting this to go back out. Come on. 
I'm sure it'll be worth it. channel live here at RF Bill Noy, United States Air Force in Europe base. Oh yeah, how are we all doing? Hope we're all good, home of the uh, 350 second special operations uh, wing and of course the 100th air refueling wing. Various aircraft around. patiently as I said just for this C-17 come on
Marco Davey, RSVP, White Wizard, Paul M. Hennings, how's it going? Oi oi. Paul uh, Kenya, oi oi. How's it all going? Susan Smith, how you all doing? Welcome to the show. We are just waiting, literally, if you just joined us, we are waiting for this uh, C17 to, to uh, hopefully depart soon. But uh, that would mean the end of our stream, sadly. So we are awaiting uh, just this, I believe. I think that's all we're going to get today. No worries, we did see it come in and we'll see it depart. It looked about half an hour to refuel it, didn't it? It did look like it. Resist trying oh, to get yeah. one of these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Oh, cool. It's really quiet, isn't it? Yeah, it's sitting this, you know, this is getting this, you might get a quiet one. Wait for the C17 to go out, I don't know when. It's, they're just like, it's a bit tricky. They're loading it, or at least it's loaded now, so wait for it to go. Um, 
going to the Isle of Man TT, so it was pretty much classic for that. So, uh, this is, but I think there's, there's something going on there as well, like that. Red Arrows. Red Arrows, that's it. Yeah, I thought there was something there. That would be good. Take care, see ya. been loaded up now. Ladies and teddy bears, hitting the like button or we'll, uh, we'll get the C17 started up. <laughs> Jogs away on that uh, like button, ladies and teddy bears. This is today just a stream all about this C17 that's coming to land and will depart hopefully very shortly. Everything seems to be pretty good for it to start. Hit the like button, let's do this. Come on, let's get another thousand likes. Come on, we can do it. 500 likes for the landing, 500 likes for the departure. Here we go.
been loaded up. and all that isn't it best thing that comes to those who wait ladies show steady bears ted coningsby channel live here at raf building all and we're just uh, waiting for this c17 to depart and, uh, we are stop that'll be us done Stream Lady Shen Steady Bears here at RAF Building Hall. Some lovely blue skies, by the way. I mean, that's that makes a change, right?
Right, not long now for uh, Reach 160. We're looking at the Globe Master, the C17. Which is a uh, long range, heavy lift, strategic transport aircraft. And it can operate close to potential area of operations for combat, peacekeeping, and uh, oh, humanitarian missions worldwide. Check this out. Beautiful. Look at the way the color changes as well. I love that about the C17. And it is capable of uh, rapid strategic delivery of troops and all types of cargo to main operating bases anywhere in the world and the uh, the globe masters load bearing ramp uh, rear ramp and digitally controlled loading systems combined with the skills of its crews and the ground handlers enable large complex items of equipment including a chinook helicopter as well uh, osprey um, military vehicles and other heavy items of specialist kit to be loaded and of course uh, lots and lots of salmon uh, it can transport up to a hundred thousand pounds that's 45,360 kilograms of freight um, and uh, to go with a range of more than 4,500 nautical miles which is for those oh, what's that sound uh, 8,334 kilometers while flying at altitudes above 35,000 feet uh, the aircraft's design enables high angle steep approaches as well at relatively low speed as uh, slow speeds uh, allowing it to operate in small austere airfields and onto runways as short as three and a half thousand feet long and just 90 foot wide it is an exceptional view and uh, it is a phenomenal it is just an absolute agile aircraft capable of course of low flying as well amazing by four 40,400 pounds Pratt & Whitney F117 PW100 turbo fans <laughs> that's that's incredible that's incredible that's like four typhoons with its uh, eight EJ200 engines and that's even with reheats wow We are quite imminent to see this depart, I think. Been a couple of radio checks for this. Thanks everyone that's tuned in and uh, has been patient today with this. It's uh tuned in hit the like button here we go hey Hugh how are you doing hope you're all good Brandy guessing hope you're good Lauren Alex Black Cat welcome to the show ladies and teddy bears today is just about this one particular C17 and uh, we've seen it arrive we've seen it refuel we've seen it get loaded and it's uh, about to start up enjoy everyone that's tuned in for this again uh, like with anything to do with plane spotting it is a lot uh, but especially with military uh, military requires the most excellent amount of patience <laughs> we've certainly done that today Uh, 
to escort it maybe, I'm not sure. Welcome to the Tech Honics B channel, your UK's number one military aviation streaming channel. We'd love to keep it that way, so please support the channel, hit the subscribe, hit the like button and you've been cleared to land on the like button ladies and teddy bears give the subscribe button a touch and go in case you haven't done so already and of course uh, give the uh, notification bell button a low approach as well have a look at it click the options to all on your notification bell, bell button that way you won't miss out on our latest greatest live streams and videos ladies and teddy bears are gear. very possible to get a thousand likes before this to, to pass that'd be pretty cool very very good ladies and steady bears um thank you all so much for the support it's your one and only ted Coningsby channel you know how we do it what up <laughs> So very quickly come on come on c70 it's kind of weird though because i don't want it to end in some ways and yet i do want to see this take off so it's uh, <laughs> it won't be long though it won't be long but uh, i'm sure uh, we'll get to see this beautiful c17 depart very shortly Lady Shed's Teddy Bears. It was, um, to be honest, it was pretty good timing because we, we weren't really set up long when we got here and uh, when we heard that it was just 15 minutes out when this uh, arrived as Reach 160. 
and uh, that was pretty cool. So it's been here since uh, since then, at the beginning of the show, I think 15 minutes in, and uh, we got to see it refuel as well. That was quite fun to try and guess how long it took. It, lo it's, it looked about half an hour, didn't it? And of course, we got to see it load, and uh, now we just get to see it uh, depart. Makes a change to be dry though. A nice dry stream. <laughs> Have a bit more tea then, Ted. Come on, where are these lights pinging? Come on. details now and clearance. Reach one six zero heavy roger. On the runway two eight depart mission. Uh depends on how the await our vectors. On departure five runway heading climb the flight level one. Easter to you, Kevin. Thank you. Get the Terry's chocolate orange out. <laughs> oh yeah. And of course it wouldn't be Easter without um, these lovely looking things. Where are they? Is that on the runway? What's it doing? Last time I remember once we had a fox crossing the runway, that was uh, pretty interesting, wasn't it? Happy Easter, everyone who's tuned in, thank you very much.
Lauren, <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's quite funny. It is the Easter Bunny, all right. Uh, yet is a Maguire Air Force Base, that's correct. Love is in the hair. <laughs> nice one, Margo. 812 watching, don't forget to hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Teddy Bears just tuned in. This is admittedly a very chilled out, relaxed stream. This is all about the, just this one C-17 that we've got to see arrive and taxi Drive back. long now. Are you alright? Just made it. Oh, cool, cool. We've got him on the way down. Oh, nice one. Yeah, it's, it's still got a bit to go yet. I know, every time we heard him say two minutes, and I sat there for two minutes like, kidding, you can wait. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's still got a bit to go yet. Yeah, it's harder to find this one, but um, thankfully a couple of people watching said on there where to go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's handy. Oh, that's but, good. Yeah, just the um, chap over there, he said, oh, we're not flying today. What's happening here? There's a little light ping. Oh, the lights are on.
So here we go. Now ping in Navy Shenzer Teddy Bears, the C17 Reach 160. Still be a few minutes yet. That's impressive, thank you very much, that is an honour. this can still be a while yet lady shenzer teddy bears just hold tight here we go Be channel live here at RAF Milden all how are you all doing? Ladies, Shed Teddy Bears, welcome to our uh, chilled out Easter show for just especially this C17. 
this is all we've had today and that's all we're gonna get our arrival of reach 160 and we're gonna see it uh, depart as well which was quite nice because we got to see it refuel we got to see it getting loaded we got to see some things going on on the ground but it was worth waiting for because I can tell you right now the C17 departures are impressive let's see what we're gonna get ladies just to tell you bears let's enjoy the show and uh, hopefully we'll be back uh, tomorrow for a full show at Ted's home Ted HQ to 1k that's impressive thank you very much The engine's running on the C17 now, so uh, let's uh, hope we get this taxiing very shortly. But yeah, if you just joined us, welcome to the show. If you haven't missed a lot, it's just basically a dedicated stream just for this C17. And you know what, it's quite nice coming back from holiday and just uh, have a nice chilled out stream. <laughs> Break it in slowly, you know that feeling when you've just come back from holiday. It's uh, it's yeah, it's uh, it's not the best uh, feeling in the world, but uh, here we go, here we go. timing for those that just tuned in here we go should be taxiing very shortly now
getting the departure details now, Lady Shinsa Teddy Bears. Thanks everyone for trying to get us to 1,000 likes. I think we're pretty close to it as well. 1,000 likes, we've got it already. Nice one, thank you very much. Here we go. Here we go, it moves, here we go. Ladies, gentle teddy bears, here we go. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. This gorgeous C17 near no Goes it taxis down for departure runway 28. Love the markings on the tail there with the what looks like a P38. I'm not 100% sure it's that uh, that sort of style of aircraft. So 33125 is the serial number. You got Maguire there. Let's uh, have a little zoom in there. 33125 Maguire. Uh, yep, yeah, here we go. So wherever it may be going, have a good flight. Coming up now to our end of our chilled out Easter special. And it's been a cracker. <laughs> here we go. Hang on. Now's not the time to have a bit of a... No, oh, no, okay. You know when you're going to sneeze at the wrong moment? Yeah. That'll, okay, that'll do. It's better now. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Uh, taxi down all the way down to runway 28 and you know what it's quite nice to have a sunny day here at, uh, at the Ted H Ted HQ streams <laughs> oh yeah we're so used to getting battered by rain and storms and here we go beautiful C17 Globe Master 40,000 pounds of thrust each <laughs> on those four F117 100 engines. Oh yeah, we'll take that. That's a good one. Here we go. Bunny's having a good time now with that. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Let's ride. Here we go. Ted Coningsby channel live. Here, oh, there's loads of them in there. Is that more? Have we got now four? Got four of them there now. So this will taxi all the way down, like we said, to uh, runway 28, and it's been uh, it's going to get all the departure details now we've mentioned it uh, quite briefly ladies sheds and teddy bears of a sterile cockpit now that would be uh, initiated for this as well uh, for military aircraft they too have to uh, practice and initiate a sterile cockpit so anything below 10,000 feet or chit chat is to be related only to the departures uh, or uh, anything relevant to the flight itself sorry so uh, for this the sterile cockpit means full concentration on the all the checks and communicating all regarding flight checks flight details no other chit chat is allowed and uh, and that is anything below 10,000 feet they must maintain a sterile cockpit lady gentle teddy bears there we go, and that's of course in uh, domestic, civilian, commercial flights as well, which I find out, which I found out also that in the uh, US Air Force manual, it does include this in the 
in the military as well, which was pretty cool. It does say on the uh, US Air Force manual that I read, it does say all about the uh, sterile cockpit. Now, the 10,000 feet, that would mean, of course, um, you'll have to add the altitude that's why the altimeter gets read out here as well. You have to add whatever the altitude is here as well. So obviously a thousand feet here is uh, a bit different to a thousand feet at uh, Lossy Mouth, for example. I'm going to get myself in a muddle if I talk about too much technical stuff like that. But uh, you know what I mean? So if we're already at a, an altitude of 2,000 feet, this is just an example, then the sterile cockpit must be maintained from uh, all the way up to 12,000 feet. Hope that makes sense. You know, you know what I'm trying to get out of that. There we go. an absolutely stunning aircraft with the uh, the winglets there on the here we go oh my sister's so hard Reggie's taking over the world alright let me just move into sorry let me just move this over here I'll be with that C-17 in just a moment here we go Clear for takeoff, here we go, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears. It's a sweet goodbye because this will be the, uh, the end of our day here, which has uh, been a nice chilled out stream just to get myself back into the flow from uh, holiday. You know how it is. Here we go, let's ride.
There we go, ladies, shins and teddy bears. Is how you do it. Just get some. Uh, I've got some cards, marches to do as well. Thank you all for tuning in today. I'm just chilled out the stream. Hope you enjoyed the C17. We got to see it land and we got to see it take off. Win win, innit? Come on in, mate. Just uh, we'll finish this up then, buddy. We've, we've had a good damn week. Take my little aircraft, buddy. There we go. Right, Ted Connings Beach Channel. I uh, would like to say a give a guide to march to Lauren. 
uh, who's been a member for five months. Thanks for the uh, thanks to the long-term members and donors. Thank you very much. Guards March for Laurie. Thank you very much. Paul M. Hennings, gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. And uh, White Wizard, thank you very much also for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much. And Margot Baxter, thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you very much, Margot. Guards March, thank you very much. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, thank you very much for tuning in to see the C17. It was a little Easter special. It was the only thing I could find uh, sort of suitable to, to get to. Dee -dee -dee. I mean, I could have done Bryce today, but it would have been a bit far after travelling. We didn't get home till midnight yesterday, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, but... Uh, but yeah, we're here now, and um, it's been a it's been a great start to run it in. You know, when you've just got, like I said, when you've just come back from a holiday. Um, but there we go, ladies, gents, teddy bears. Ted, where are you, buddy? Right, just want to say a massive thank you. Happy holidays, happy Easter, everyone. It's been a, a real, it's been a fun day, hasn't it? A little day out. Like I said, when I'm here, I'm not alone, especially with Ted and all of you. We always feel that we've all we've got all of you with us. So it's like a little day out that we've had together. It's really good. We've been talking on the chats, talking about aircraft, and generally today it's been been an absolute great way to come back from our holidays well it's and it's not bad for me to finish have a half day after you know having a holiday so you know I was like driving here thinking oh man holiday time but you know at the end of the day it's been great I've been with you all and it's been an incredible day just want to say thank you to everyone that's tuned in today and also you do require a lot of patience when it comes to uh, Mildenhall and uh, we will be back thank you very much ladies gents teddy bears we'll see you tomorrow so for the last time for the day it's see you soon wish you well oh yeah let's ride <laughs> take care you have a good one yeah enjoy yourselves have a good day see you soon wish you well <laughs> here we go <laughs> oh yeah, ladies, sheds and teddy bears, welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel membership. I'm Nikos, I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Just want to say a massive thank you to all our members. Guns up and oh yeah. Take it away, Ted. Ladies, sheds and teddy bears, we want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country, from as far as Lossiemouth to Bryce Norton, and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centres and special flights for TED2. We cannot do this without your support, and your support will be rewarded. You can now join the TED Coningsby Squadron and help fund the channel to get us around the country and provide us with the funds for equipment to bring you better content too. We have three exciting membership levels with awesome YouTube perks to reward you back for your support. Our first level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Squadron. You'll get a loyalty badge on YouTube, unique TCS emojis that you can use on comments and live streams, members only videos which include behind the scenes, deleted scenes, sneak previews and also music videos that Ted likes to play the electric guitar on. You'll also get access to members only Discord server and discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All of this for just $1.99 a month. Oh yeah. Our second level of membership is the Posh Officers Club. <laughs> this includes all of the squadron perks, private Posh Officers Discord chat room, Posh Officers discounts on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise, and the poshness of supporting the TCS even more. This is just £4.99 a month. Our third level was inspired by many of our fans who have been supporting the channel massively. 
So we'd love to reward you back with this and our third level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron. This gives you a more personal experience with me and Ted with exclusive live streams and content. You'll get a free Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron patch, a private Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron Discord chat room, a gold color Discord username, and a higher discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All this for just $25.99 a month. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, the Ted Coningsby channel cannot thank you enough for all your support. And it's this support that keeps the dream, keeps the stream. Thank you so much. Ah, gear. Yeah. Go, 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 go.